Charles Purcell presents You once thought that you had all the answers. Well, you did. It's time you knew the truth. When you were young, when you were a punk, You thought everything was ridiculous. You thought all adults were morons. You thought you knew everything. And then, over time, you were convinced that you had much to learn from your elders, that they were the wise ones, that your youth was filled with naivete. But if you continue in your evolution of thought, you will discover that, yes, indeed, you were right all along. Wisdom belongs to youth. The elders become the idiots. And only a select few can recapture the wisdom of their youth. If you are young, take comfort. You are right. We are all idiots. Bada dee dee dum, bada bee dee da da dee. Do do dee dee um, ba ba bum 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 bum, ba 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 bum. Bada bum 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 bum. Bada bum 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 A federal appeals court today has overturned a stay ordered by a lower court prohibition of a law that would require employers to allow workers to deny mediation results that reverse existing contracts that do not recognize state-mandated arbitration. Litigants are bringing the case to the Supreme Court if and when they can determine amongst themselves which side each side is on. Negotiations stalled last month but then resumed last week under a sealed order that ordered court-ordered orders ordering motions to be filed within six weeks of the prior order in order to comply with the orders prescribed by the standing orders ordered by the federally established orders. Are you ready to order? Yes, I'll have the calamari. With super salad? Yes, I would like to not have the soup, but rather I will not not have the salad. Dressing? I would decline to have the blue cheese on the salad, but I will not refuse to accept having the blue cheese not on the side. That's on the side of the salad with no dressing, but which actually has dressing. That is, it does not have blue cheese, but in fact 
has blue cheese chosen over a long list of other possible options which were offered implicitly but declined thus far and considered heretofore as unrequested options that remain open until fulfillment of said order which will consist of blue cheese dressing. On the side? Correct. Show ordered. Back to you, Ted and Mary. Thanks, Chet, for that report. And enjoy your calamari and salad. (laughs) You bet I will. Thanks, Mary and Ted. Well, Mary's not here anymore. She quit to have a baby. Quit to have a baby? (laughs) What is this, the 1950s? No, No, Chet, it's not the 1950s. Well, it's not not the 1950s. Hey, cats and kittens, put on your saddle shoes and run it home through that ducktail because it's time to rock around the clock with your daddy-o on the radio, your friend to the end, yours truly. Hand over Rudy Tootie, pass the foodie, open the hoodie and shake your patootie Finkelstein. Your afternoon man here on the big 98 AM KNOW where you're always in the know because we're blasting 100,000 watts of love clear across the valley, Sally, with stacks of wax that hit the maximum levels on your dance floor meter. There's nothing sweeter than my baby. Is, let me take you to that sunset and then set you loose to rock the night away. Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh, oh my. my, oh my, oh my. What is it? What are you doing? I'm making fritters. But the oil, it's, it's boiling hot. Well, yeah, how else are you going to make fritters? But you're putting them in with your hands. So? Don't you see how close your fingers are getting to the boiling oil? How are you not burning your fingers? Are you mad? Hey, I know what I'm doing. You obviously don't, because you can't even see how close you are to burning yourself. What do you care? I I care because, well, because I can't stand stupid. Stupid makes me crazy. I can't stand it. I can't help it. Well, this is the way I do it. And, And you just don't care that it's making me crazy? Hey, that's up to you. Don't let it make you crazy. But it does. And if you loved me, you'd use tongs. Use my tongue? That's worse than my hands. You know very well I said tongs. Now you're just being mean. Ah, ah, you did it again. Stop doing that. Stop it, seriously. Why are you so mean to me? Why do you have to be such an a-hole? You are such an a-hole. Hey, kids. Do you know who the real a-holes are? The real douchebags? The real jagoffs, scumbags, and jerks? No, who? People who stack rocks on the beach. Don't stack rocks on the beach. Nobody needs to see that. Leave the rocks alone. Mama, it's a disaster.
we go singing. All my friends who are down and out, we gon' fight. Right then, so how's it going? It's your old pal Chucky Bucky. Haven't talked to you in, I guess, holy gosh, like a month of Sundays, right? My mother used to use that expression, a month of Sundays. You ever hear that one? That you got to be a certain age, I think, because I'm kind of getting older now, and my mom was older, and so it goes way back. So maybe for you, like even oh, like a great grandmother or something, because I was, like I said, I'm kind of old now, and she was pretty old when she had me, so. Anyway, what was I going to say? Oh, you know what? I just, I got to ask you a question because I'm really curious what you guys think about this. Are you just grossed out all the time now? Um, anytime I spend uh, with a screen in front of me and, you know, con, you know, you got to admit we all do that. I, you know, I get out and do things and I get my exercise and take my walks and things like that. But, you know, okay, so that's the world we live in. We all have to spend time on screens and lately oh my gosh well not even lately it's been going on for quite a while now but it seems to be getting worse and worse and worse is that things are so gross oh my gosh you try you click on a story you're trying to read a news story or something you know from you know your social media and anyway so oh my goodness then it's just filled with these pop-up ads or ads pictures of the grossest kind of uh people who are just you know they're falling apart or they're just oozing pus from their you know wherever or, or they're badly injured or you know the it's just so like on purpose they're being so disgusting the people running these ads and i just i flip by them as quick as i can i, I get shocked to go oh, oh i shudder i don't even know what the ad is for um because i flip by it so fast so i don't know if they think this is good advertising apparently they do because it's just everywhere and everywhere do you stop and look at the freakish gross mangled bodies and the terrible like blemishes that are open and wounds that are just seeping and oh my goodness and the and even the stuff that that shouldn't even be that gross you know even the stuff you'd think would be mild is really starting to get to me. Like, oh, that lady. If you watch any TV at all, I know young people don't watch the television much, but older folks do. Have you seen the lady who's talking about, uh, about like, under boobs and butt cracks? And she's got this new kind of, <clears throat> she's got this new kind of, I guess, deodorant. And she's just got the uh, America convinced that we stink everywhere now. It used to be, oh, okay, well, your armpits, sure. We've decided a long time ago that that maybe needs a little uh, treatment, right? A little preemptive uh, strike there to put some deodorant uh, uh, on the underarm because that'll get stinky. But now she's got like this whole line of like 25 different 
products in her line and each one is like one is for the butt crack and one is for an under boob and one is for this and that it's like between your toes and whatever and she just says that well we stink everywhere and i didn't know did you know that we stink everywhere holy gosh all my life i've been living all i do is you know i take my shower in the morning and uh i try to be a clean person right and i I do my laundry on a regular basis and I wash my hands and I brush my teeth, you know, wash my face. And and at the end of the day, sometimes I'll take a second shower, depending on how my day went, or I'll certainly at least like wash my face and neck. You know, I'm a clean person. But now, oh my goodness, uh, she's got a, everybody convinced that we need to buy her products. And of course, that's what it's all about always. Like, you know, like Charles Purcell always talks about, oh, it's just money, money, money. That's all anything's all ever about, you know, just convinces all that we stink now. So, like I say, that's that's not like as gross as the as the really, really badly injured people who, you know, bones sticking through their skin. And for some reason, they feel they got to show that uh, on uh, on the social media. Uh, that's so the the under boob lady, she's not as gross as that. But still, who I, I don't need to hear about your smelly under boob i mean gosh almighty that's not who is it who who does that appeal to and uh is it you know i always thought advertising was well i guess there are lots of ways to to influence people you can make them feel good about themselves or you can make them feel bad about yourselves and i guess over over the years they've discovered that making you feel bad and inadequate is the best way to get that last nickel out of your pocket right that's they figured that out all right so i've just had it you know like charles purcell always says we got to get rid of money and profit because it's just making us all terrible and 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 there are lots of different ways it makes us terrible but today my my concern is and maybe it sounds trivial to you but i just can't look at all this gross stuff anymore I've never been one, even like with the gross out humor. Remember way back in the day, like SNL had the, she, uh, there was the, um, oh, the French chef. I forgot what her name was, but Dan Aykroyd played the chef on TV and then he cut his finger and then he, they had like the fake blood shooting everywhere. And oh, that was so funny. Right. And then, uh, also on SNL and other places, they'd have, oh, like the fake vomit. They'd hold their hand up to their mouth like they're like they're trying to stop it and then the the fake vomit would shoot out of their wrists like spider-man's web you know that's how they that's the trick they use and you could usually tell how they did it but you know the fact the the point being gross out humor never a fan no i was never ever once a fan of gross out humor i don't know it's just the way i'm built the way God made me, the way my brain operates, I, oh no, I turn away. It's like, I don't need to see that. Some people really like the gross out humor. I don't get it myself. And now these days with the gross out advertising on online, oh my goodness, I've had it really. Have you had it? What do you think about this? I don't know. Gosh almighty. Anyway, I, you know, I love you and I'll talk to you again real soon. Of course, I said that last time and now it's been a quite a while. So it wasn't so soon. I'll try not to make it so long between talks next in this next time okay all right there you go i'm the i'm your pal chucky bucky i'll uh, i'll talk to you all right take care now Every day, I'm more averse to pop-up ads. They're getting worse. Graphic pictures of bodies broken, better left unseen, unspoken. Warts, boils, corns and skin tags. Smelly under boobs and eye bags. Goiters, bunions, patchy bald spots hairy ears and nasal blood clots, knobby knees and nostril flares, bulging eyeballs, ingrown hairs, acne blackheads, pockmarked faces, ugly crooked mouth needs braces, hemorrhoids and inflammation, 
poop stained butt cracks, flatulation, farty farts, and tooty tooters, flaccid penis, saggy hooters, lesions, wounds, cuts, and abrasions, fissures, scratches, lacerations, blemished skin that's dry and rough, too much hair or not enough, ingrown nails and droopy jowls, missing choppers, active bowels, runny noses, peeling skin, halitosis, double chin, swollen gums are red and bleeding, pulsing pimples, hair receding, dry and itchy eyes that cry, and the heart Break of psoriasis will leave you red and rashy, flaky, cracking, dry and ashy, underarm that flops and flabs, chapped lips, seeping wounds and scabs, cold sores, earwax, skin that's crepey, big fat bottoms out of shapey, hangnails and infected cuticles, nausea caused by pharmaceuticals, burning urine, gonorrhea, upset stomach, diarrhea, yellow teeth and toenail fungus, slimy mucus lives among us. I'm sick of all this snot and pus. It's, it's just so gross. What's wrong with us? Is there no limit to our greed? Just stop cramming all this in my feed. Why is it that you never thought about that? Just never occurred to me. Well, maybe you should uh, try to concentrate a little more. I don't think concentration is the issue. I think, I think the issue is uh, freedom. Freedom? The hell are you talking? About? Come on now. Don't don't get on about about this again. What do you mean get on about this again? I, you you act like uh, whenever we get together, like you just pick up. Uh, as though we've already been together. Like, the conversation already started in your head before I even got here. Well, I suppose that can happen. I mean, like this morning, I was brushing my teeth. And now there you go again. See, you're going you're gonna to change the subject? Well, I'm not changing the subject. Uh, if you let me get to the point. With the point, but you never do get to the point is the point. Well, okay, so that's a point. I just made a point. Well, can not, now you're doing, what, what, what are you, Nilsson Schmilson all of a sudden? Oh, okay, so, oh, fine. Okay, go back to your little uh, pop culture music references to avoid the issue. I don't even know what the issue is. You, you, you stand there, you know, in your pajamas. Why didn't you even get dressed? I, you knew I was coming over. <laughs> These aren't pajamas, well, they're sweats. They look like pajamas to me. I mean, pajamas, sweats, they're the same thing. They're not the, they're not the same thing. Who says they're the same thing? You know, you don't, you're not even talking the same as when, as when we first, I first came in. You, you, you're so... Uh, what am I? You're so... I can't think of the word. Pretentious? Pretentious? No, that's not the word. Affected, that's it. I'm affected. I'm affected. I'm affected. <laughs> yes, you're affected. Because I don't even know what accent you're speaking with anymore. I can't even I can't even I I can't even tell. Well, I can't I can't tell what accent you're speaking in either. We're just people just talk. They have accents. Everybody has Well, has, nah, everybody doesn't have Well of course they do. It's just that they're relative to other accents. It's like accent is something that relies on on a comparison. Okay, I, I mean, I guess I see that, but the the my point remains the same. Yours seems to be shifting. Well, okay, fine. It, 
who cares? Well, again, you, you. In other words, it sounds like you're putting it on. I, I'm not putting anything on. I'm just speaking. Yeah, but but your accent changes. But again, like I said, the accent is only relative to the uh, the person who's hearing the accent. So this is more about you than about me. Well, now see, there you go again. Are you are you from Brooklyn or are you from Texas? Well, you're doing the same thing. I am not. Yes, you are. Well, if I am, it's because you're uh, affecting me. Oh, my affectation is affecting you. Affect, effect. You know, I never could get those two straight. I, n- I never re- know, know when to use A-F-F-E-C-T or when to use E-F-F-E-C-T. And then you toss in affectation. Uh, yeah, this, this is pretty confusing, isn't it? I, I gave up on, on that one. You know, you know what word I can never spell is, and it sounds ridiculous, but it's extreme. Extreme? The word extreme? Yeah. E-X-T-R-E-M-E? Yeah. Well, how else could you spell it? For some reason, I always want to make it two E's. Well, there, there are two E's. No, no. The two E's uh, next to each other. E-X-T-R-E-E-M? Yeah. Well, that's just stupid. No, no. No, it's not stupid. It's it's a there's I think there's a word for it. Um, I don't know. Yeah, there's a word for everything, in you know psychology. There. Yeah, uh, when, when you got a simple word and you got a, a block, you get a mind block on it. Um, yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. So. Okay. All right. Well, talk to you later. All right. See ya. The song Down in the Streets by Carsey Blanton. This episode of Charles Purcell Presents is available right now wherever you find your podcasts. Or go to the website charlespurcell.com for the full archive and all the other series in the podcast family. Follow me on Facebook. Write to me at charlespurcell at gmail. Thanks to our flagship terrestrial station, River West Radio, riverwestradio.com. Theme music composed and performed by Peter Donalds. From the New Arts and Media Studios in Milwaukee, I'm Charles Purcell. Didn't they just add two lanes to this highway? Yeah, so why is traffic worse than ever? It's because they expanded the highway. Who's that? It's the guy in the car next to us. More roads means more cars and more greenhouse gases. So what? Stop building roads? And cars. Even electric cars? When you factor in production, EVs don't reduce emissions for 10 years, and by then, you need a new battery. But how will we get around? Public transportation, of course. All right, right. public Public transportation. transportation. F*** cars. Save the planet. Build public transportation for everybody. Hashtag abolish cars.